Hi, I'm Senator Mike Lee. On February 27th, the current budget authority for the Department of Homeland Security will expire. Congress, and only Congress, has the power of the purse, which means that between now and then, members of the House and Senate will debate what we believe to be the appropriate level of funding for the Department of Homeland Security. This is a critically important debate. DHS is a vast department whose various agencies are tasked with protecting our homeland, securing our borders, and administering our immigration laws. And our debate should reflect the wide range of missions performed by the department's 280,000 employees. But as we engage in this debate, we can't allow the immense scope of DHS to distract us from what should always be the focus of our efforts in Congress protecting their rights and expanding the opportunities of the American people. This is true, especially when it comes to the enforcement of our immigration laws. For instance, at a time when so many Americans are struggling to find work, we shouldn't reward an agency with a rubber stamp for its budget if that agency has made it even more difficult for unemployed Americans to find a job. One agency that deserves careful scrutiny is U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. This is the agency that's responsible for processing applications and issuing work permits under President Obama's executive action on immigration. According to a recent study, since 2009, this agency has issued work permits to more than 900,000 immigrants and other foreign nationals who were not allowed to be in the United States at the time. Most of the recipients of these work permits entered the country by crossing our border illegally. This is an injustice that Congress can, and I believe must, correct. But it'll require that we exercise our power of the purse responsibly and aggressively on behalf of the American people. Thank you.